Hi right, guys, it's me, Will again, here with the Gears and Beers YouTube channel. And for all like hundred of you guys that have followed this, you've heard me mention orphans, oddballs, and generally weird shit that I farm with. Well kids, I brought home the weirdest of the weird, the oddest of the odd, and the coolest of the cool. Let me present to you my 1982 CA360 Industrial Steiger. And got quite a story to tell. This came out of Oregon. Had a hell of a time getting it here. My buddy Nelson Stout found it. Turned me on to it. And I decided I needed a pan tractor, dozer tractor, something, just to keep from tearing up the other Steigers doing dirt work. And it's a Series 3. We're going to do a walk around here. I'm not doing the best job. I apologize. Um, Clark axles, Eaton's, I mean, not Clark, 30.5's, um, 3406B cat, intercooled, aftercooled, just absolute beast. Grouser dozer blade, factory installed, factory joystick controls. Um, I cannot think that this thing did much. I really can't. It's not beat up, shows its age well maybe 6,000 hours, I don't know, um, four-way blade, very, very interesting, the, uh, the, the industrial Steigers were the same, but quite a bit different at the same time, um, the biggest, biggest thing you come up with is, like I said, they, they don't have Reba axles in them, they're Eaton's, they're Eaton's or Clark, somebody will correct me, because I'm having a brain fart on it, uh, elec electric diffs in it, these tractors had air brakes. That explains the air hose for the air tank. Um, used an Allison, six-speed Allison, five-speed Allison rather, 20-speed box. We'll get up in the cab in a second. And the pivot pins in an industrial Steiger are quite a bit different, at least anything I've ever seen. Remind me a lot more of a payloader. Uh, this one has got the fuel tanks and the fenders because it was built with the open back it would have had a gooseneck plate here just basically like your pickup but a whole lot bigger and you could pull the old gigantic gooseneck scrapers with it um hitch shows zero wear i mean zero i don't think it's done a thing in its life it's got this conglomerated mess of shit of a receiver hitch on it i don't know what it is but uh torch and a grinder make it go away um, they also, these tractors have the Tiger style cab, they're wide, they're, I don't know, 8, 9, 10 inches wider than what you see on like a CM325 Steiger. Also, somebody somewhere has done this, and the reason why is they probably got it somewhere it didn't need to be, and it decided to kiss itself. Um, we're gonna go up here, the, uh. The hydraulic hose extra step is nice, except it's like stepping on a trapeze and you want to die. All right. Just like I did there. Just completely miss it. 100% uh, sure that's not the right cab filter. I probably got one in the pile. Open the door. The cab is uh, actually in really good shape for the age for the plastic in them um also it's huge it, it, it for if you've been in a old series Steiger with a safari cab you guys can tell the difference columns tight that makes my day what we got here this shifts the transfer case it's got a high low you can split every gear throttle tractor brake implement brake they don't work <laughs> um now this is where it gets really wild this Steiger it's got a early, early electric over hydraulic controls. This here runs a blade. It's four-way, up, down, tilt, left, right. This one here, this way is remote number one. This way is remote number two. This here is your shifter for your Allison, which literally, just like your pickup, pull it in gear, step on that, make noise, make her grunt. Um, I'm gonna get it cleaned up. It's gonna get a cab kit for sure. I really don't think I'm gonna repaint it. Uh, paint's pretty decent. Oh no, I think just for the shit of it, we'll fire it up. 
because man man it sounds good I'll uh, raise the blade up and down for you it is very very light on the back with the blade up I have discovered that but also my shop is a mess absolute mess just absolute mess but the blade works it seems like the joysticks work which if I understand it right they are a bit of a problem in these tractors from a few guys out there have got them um, cup holders that's rocket ship just Star Trek shit in 1980 shutting it off is interesting it's got its own got its own button which evidently is time delayed because I was about to shit myself um I don't know it, it is just just view out the back one broken window eh, I got a glass shop for that um I'm really 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 kind of impressed with it we'll uh well hell radio worked that's nice I can tell you one thing, the relays are all sticking in the cab. Forgive my mess. Um, it's been a long fall and we ain't cleaned the shop up yet, but it's coming. It's coming. Ah, I think I said earlier, 30.532 Goodyear Harvest Torx. Sure, that's going to work well. Here's a shot of big ass kitty power. Meow, meow, growl, growl. Uh, like I said, it's a Grouser blade. They were factory installed. It's factory plumbed into the Power Beyond. This thing is... I got, I've got a D4 cat dozer, and I'll guarantee you one thing. This thing outweighs it and outpush it. Um, they made Industrial Stigers Lease Series 3 about two, three years. Um, more of them than what you think are out there, but finding the history on them is kind of hard. A little weird. I mean, and they are straight up weird, man. The, 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 the fuel fenders, which it needs fuel, are, are they're odd. What we got here is the electrical over hydraulic valve. This here is the the semi couplers, just like just like on your truck. Go back for the air. Um, you're not going to see much in here. That's two speed drop box. Same same thing in all the. That era, Steigers, PTAs, stuff like that. The uh, carrier bearing and that, that stuff's a little weird, but what uh, you're going to end up with this is it's got a, I'm going to put a dirt pan on it and put grade control on it. And we're so spread out up and down the road, it just, I'm hoping to be able, if we've got terraces or ditches to fix, a little brush to push, I've got one unit here that I don't have to load up, I don't have to get permits, and I don't have to dick with chains, and we just hoof it down the road. But again, orphan, oddball. But I don't know. We're going to go shove some dirt with it tomorrow. I'm going to try to get some footage. It depends. I'm trying to get a anhydrous job finished up and need to get that going. But thanks for watching my channel. You guys enjoy your night. Keep your powder dry.